Today, I want to clarify some common questions about TCA. TCA stands for trichloroacetic acid. It's a stronger acid used to chemically exfoliate the skin from the face or body. Not only does it cause a good amount of visible flaking, but it also stimulates collagen, elastin, and even glycosaminoglycans in the skin. It's truly amazing. And with all things amazing, there are those of you that like to live dangerously or adventurously. And I wanna go over some tips that will help you to get your best and most importantly, safest results. A big question I wanna to tackle today is how often can I do a TCA peel? Obviously, this is gonna be based on what percentage you're applying, how heavy handed you are with the volume of solution, and how many layers have been applied. All of that info is in your peel manual for easy access. On average, most people will do one TCA peel per month until their series is complete. I think this is an easy timeline to follow and gives you enough weeks of downtime to help with tissue generation from the acid itself. And it gives you a good amount of time to use your daily treatments easily. Of course, there are always exceptions and if you're applying a light percentage, such as the 7% or only one or two layers of the 13%, you will be able to apply it again around the second or third week mark if you wish. Always listen to your skin though, and only move forward if everything is feeling perfectly normal and there aren't any lingering sensitivity or irritations happening. Next question. Can I apply a stronger percentage of TCA on my neck and chest? Problems aren't just local to our faces, therefore you should definitely apply TCA to the neck and chest as well to get the best results. You don't have to peel them every single time you do your face, but you really should at least one time every few months. The tricky part here is the neck and chest area. We're applying the acid like it's an extension of our face, but it's going to flake like the body part it is. And the body takes a much longer time to slough than the face does. We always have those wanting to treat the chest with acids in higher percentages, such as the 30%, like the rest of the body. But we really shouldn't. Is the skin thicker than the face? Yes, but only microscopically. And you'll find that it's much more reactive than your face can be. A higher percentage can lead to a stronger response than you're ready for. This can mean rashes, extreme erythema, bumps, and itching to name a few. So remember, it's always best to apply the same percentage as your face. And keep in mind that because the neck and chest are technically body, they do take longer to slough. So never apply a peel more than one time per month there. Next question. Does where I'm applying the TCA affect how often I can do a peel? Yes, indeed. The face turns over very quickly. You have many follicles and the skin generally starts to shed in the first three to five days. Continues over another four to six days and you're all done relatively quick. Super. Now, the body really takes a longer time to flake. We recommend applying TCA to the body no more than one time per month. Why? Because the body can take upwards of 10 days to two weeks before it even starts to show any dryness or flaking. Then it's gonna take another couple weeks to finish. Now we're looking at four weeks, maybe five. So whenever you're treating the body, it's a slower process. Be patient. This all leads me to my next and final question. Many of you are asking me, okay, I'm doing my TCA peel every three to four weeks. I wanna add in another milder peel in between. When can I do that? Ha ha, you can't. It's not safe. Instead of thinking about squeezing in a peel while you're in your allotted downtime, let's turn the tables and talk about rotating peels instead. Get out of the habit of thinking you can only do your peel on a specific day. Instead, do your peel and wait the allotted time frame that our manual suggests. At that point, you can now apply any other acid that you wish. Let me give you an example. You applied three layers of TCA-13 and three weeks have gone by. You're ready to do another peel. This time you wanna do a glycolic 50. 
Okay, go ahead, apply your 50. Now, follow your recommendations on waiting. The average wait times for a glycolic peel are only one to two weeks. Once that time passes, you can do whichever acid peel you wish, whether it's the same one again or the TCA. Just remember to always follow the recommendations of the last peel you applied. No trying to squeeze in peels in between peels. That leads to over exfoliation and irritation. You can't rush a good thing. Downtime is important and necessary. You need to allow your skin all the time it needs to regenerate deep in the skin. Patience is key, especially with peels. If you still have more questions, just reach out to us. We're always here to help. Have a great day.